Good morning, good afternoon. I'm Chris Corson. I'm a screenwriter, film guy in uh, Austin, Texas, the last two years. And like many of us, we're in the middle of a pandemic. But I'm a problem solver. A lot of people, like myself, are single and they're trying to meet ladies so they can have a mate for the rest of their lives. And I'm no different. And I'm blessed that I, I met a very attractive lady um, a couple weeks ago, but that was while uh, there was no pandemic. And she's out of town for a while, she's back, but now I got the pandemic thing. And I want to see her. I can't see her because there's nothing open. So I, I love Deepak Chopra, I read him, and I asked for some inspiration last night. She says, well, get your ass in that stinger and go down to Veterans Park and challenge your lady to a kite competition. And I said, Deepak, what do you mean a kite competition? That's just crazy talk. And Deepak said, no, let me show you. So I thought about it, heard listening to everything he said, so I'm going to show you guys what Deepak showed me. All right, so we're going to go over where the kite competition will be. And it's actually the, the kite challenge. And um, it will work in your park. All you need is some wind and some green space. And try to limit the number of trees because trees eat kites all the time. And so I'm going to show you how to do it. It's easier than you think. Um, but listen up. There's some instructions that are needed because we got to do it safely. This is like really important. So first thing we got to do, you need a tape measure. If you're going to do it right and you want to do it safe, get yourself... Get, get your ass down to, to Lowe's or Home Depot. Get yourself a, a real good tape measure. And a Craftsman 25 footers, plenty. And you notice that I got it to six feet. And we'll have one kite here. And six feet safely over, we got the other kite. They're all set up. And for the uh, post-race festivities, I want you to know that Chris Corson doesn't spare any expense. We went and got some uh, 19 Crimes wine. Does that look like your uncle or something? And that's a perfect after kite challenge. Bring me down warm and fuzzy kind of drink to have. And I'm not saying that kite flying is a crime or 19 crimes. But okay, that's, that's the deal on the post festivities. Um, to be really safe, I got my girl some... Uh, really rugged gloves that came with my car because it matches the color these are like really ugly gloves but also I got her a face mask and it's important listen up because we are in a veterans park right now and we are in America which is the greatest country in all the world there you go so here's here's what you do to do up do this properly in this pandemic time is Go ahead and get your face mask all the way up like this and have your lady do the same so she's safe and uh, have, have her grab her have her grab her Here's string man. and then uh, here's your string and I got some ugly gloves too and uh, that's gonna keep it keep us safe because this is all about the safety okay we're all set up got my camera here I'm gonna put it on a timer so I have to stop it before I start it but it's gonna be pretty simple. Okay, now we're gonna show you how to fly the kite. I know some of you bachelors have forgotten how to fly a kite, but it's kind of like riding a bicycle, and as far as dates, there really isn't anything easier in the world. And um, actually, like many things in life, because it's easy and free, it's actually one of the most precious things you got. And you know what? You and your lady could have a kite flying challenge every Saturday or Sunday and life would then be beautiful but anyhow i digress but let's um get ready first you gotta put your mask up like this so you're all protected because this is all about safety during the pandemic and i don't want to lose any of you guys because these ladies need good men like us in their lives okay so i gotta get down here so you can see so we got the mask on get your gloves on I won't put my ugly gloves on. These are my cool driving gloves. And I'm gonna show you guys how to fly a kite just in case 
you've forgotten. And you want to look really cool with your lady because this is probably the first time she's flown a kite maybe in 15, 20 years. And you got to do it right. So follow me. Look at that. It couldn't be fucking easier. She's going to love it. Come on, guys. You can do this a long time. Every Saturday.